The opening of a new pier on Adara has actually been a project long time in the making. The first pier was put there in 1964. According to the, the board minutes of the time, after five years of negotiation with the National Trust, and after a planning permission was refused and appealed against, and it was only for an experiment of one year. And in, in the 1964 director's report, it stated, due to delays in getting these landing facilities ready, it was not possible to start calling at error until well after the season had started. There's something going on there, so similar. <laughs> <coughs> Unfortunately, because it was temporary, it was a flimsy structure, and it actually was, was damaged, severely damaged, in the winter storms of 1964. It became unsafe, and was finally it was abandoned, and that the experiment never got any further. But the idea of replacing it has rumbled around ever since. And so, here we are today, tantalizingly close, I think we have to say, to, 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 to the day when we'll have another one there. Um, we've got new IT to allow booking online and to enable people to get the experience of the, of the place before they come, which I think to adds to the enjoyment when they actually come. And we have new piers and pier houses. Uh, Dan Reading Pier House behind us, the new pier at Pooley Bridge, and now finally, Aira. Uh, and I think it will be a splendid new addition to our facilities. And tying up as it does two of the great experiences of the Lake District, a cruise on the lake and a visit to the spectacular uh, falls at Hera. So uh, we hope that the new pier will, in conjunction with all the work that the National Trust have done in, 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 in improving the area at Hera and the footpath back from Hera to Glen Ridding, that will allow visitors to come and experience the attractiveness of, of Arleswater and not just see the beauty of the lake, but also enjoy the waterfalls and that great walk back. So, um, <coughs> Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Firstly, thank you very much for inviting me. I'm delighted to be here. I should trust. Lake District Estates, Cumbria Tourism. It's, it's um, something I want to do more. I want to get out into the rest of Britain. We tend to get a bit uh, locked into London and locked into the international market. So I'm, I wanted to come out. And, and see and touch and feel the product. Um, Visit Britain, uh, what do we do? We bring people, our responsibility is to bring people from all international markets into the UK. And, and we've been doing that for a long time and we do that very successfully for you. We've had a long association with the Lake District. One of my early managers in Japan built this idea 25 years ago of selling the Japanese the whole idea of Beatrix Potter. And that continues Spurred today. Spurred on by the, kind of the, the drive of energy of some of the, 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 the team who are with me here today from Aeroforce, we set about three years ago investing in improving the, the quality of the visitor experience there. And again, funded entirely through donations and legacies. I think that's, for me that's a really important part of this. It was the, the, kind of the generosity of people who have come to know and love Air Force over so many years that has made all this possible. And so I hope that when you go over to Air Force, you'll, if you haven't already been there recently, you've seen the huge improvements that we've made to the basic infrastructure, the improvements to the car parking, the new welcome building, and most recently, and most excitingly for us, the improvements to the tea room that we've now taken back in hand and are running ourselves. That I think makes for a wonderful experience. But also key to that is the, kind of the way we try to open up the landscape, the way we try to go back to that original concept of the, the picturesque, the, open, the, the wonderful views of the waterfall, the new paths that are being created. But the final part of the jigsaw for me is being about how we connect Aeroforce to the wider landscape so that it isn't just an island sat in the middle of Oldswater, that it is just, uh, it is part of the, the, the broader experience in the valley. And so that's why the new footpath to, uh, to, to Glen Coyne and to Glen Ridding has been so important. Uh, the new bridge and paths we put in connecting the, the top car parks at High Cascades to Galbra and all the path improvements up there so that people can come and enjoy the wider walks on the fells has been so important. And of course here now, the finally, uh, 
nearly, uh, <laughs> the, new, uh, the new peer in Jesse, which for me is so much more than just another way of getting to Air Force. It kind of cements the place as being a true destination. And I think for, for me, this is just the very, uh, the, the, the very beginning of, of, a, of, a, of all the things we can do together as a partnership. I think that the values, the heritage that we share as organisations means that we can go forward and do uh, an awful lot more, and I'm looking forward to uh, the next 250 years in Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>